how satisfying was that to get through after that huge battle? Yeah, it was crazy. Um, I don't think the emotions have, you know, died down at all. I think I'm still running on adrenaline, but I haven't even really checked my phone. I just, you know, went in the ice bath, got some food. So, um, yeah, it was definitely one of my, one of the craziest matches I've ever been a part of. Uh, it was insane. Um, you know, having a match point in the third, having a match point in the fourth, and then eight, seven down, I was like, I had all the thoughts I thought I was going to lose. And I was thinking about everything. I was thinking about the media if I'd lost everything. And then, yeah, it was crazy. Nick, today's Australia Day, and uh, you've made a lot of efforts to help your country with the, the fires, and you're also somewhat of a, of a national hero. How does it feel to be an Australian on this day for you? Um, good. Especially after a, a night like that, and, um, just with everything, I could just feel everyone in the crowd and just everyone just trying to will me over the line. It's a good feeling, but I mean, still a lot of devastating things happening, even though it's Australia Day. Is there a lot of self-satisfaction, you know, particularly in the way that you did it? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, your critics might say in the past that given what transpired that you you know you might sort of go away but you re you really dug in and he was playing super well are you, are, are, you know you're quite proud of yourself for how you did it yeah I mean he doesn't get <clears throat> he's not getting enough credit I don't think he played like four hours something in his previous match and to come back out and put on a performance like that I thought the level towards the end was crazy um but yeah I mean the least I can do is go out there and give everything I had you were great your glute or your, your hamstring now, what was the Do you issue? ever have any positive questions? I'm just asking whether you'd comply with... No, all, all good, sorry. Yeah, um, what was it, sorry? I'm just asking what the... Was it a glute or a hamstring? I'm, I'm not sure why that's a negative um, question. I served and then I just felt my left bum cheek get sore. Sweet now. Uh, yeah, I, uh, it feels better now, yeah. Okay. How do you feel you're going to turn around physically for the next match and, and what are your thoughts on playing Rafael Nadal? I mean, <clears throat> I haven't even thought about it. Uh, physically, I think I'll be fine. You know, I've got a whole day off tomorrow and get some rest after this, just do all the right things. I'm, I'm super excited, honestly. Um, playing one of the greatest tennis players on centre court at your own slam is it's pretty damn cool. Um... But yeah, I've got a lot of time before now and then, so I've got to do the right things because obviously it's going to be another physical battle and nothing comes easy with him. He had a pretty relatively routine match today, so he's going to be feeling good. So I'm looking forward to it. I mean, it's why you play, I guess. Nick, what is it you like so much about playing inside Melbourne Arena? Um, I think the crowd's awesome. Uh, they get a bit rowdy in there. Um, but I've just had, I mean, adding... Tonight's experience on that court, I've had such good memories in there. Um, I love playing there. I don't know. I just feel at home. The crowd supported uh, you so nicely tonight, and uh, I read a lot of uh, nice things in the newspapers of what you have done. How, how does this make you feel? Good. Um, Rafael Nadal got asked in his press conference today, does he like you? As a person, I just wanted to ask you the same question about him. Uh, I don't really know Rafa as, you know, I've never like hung out with him or anything like that, so I don't really know how he is. Um, I don't really dislike him. I've never said I'd, I mean, like, I don't know him at all. Like, tennis player, hell of a tennis player. Don't know him as a person. Shouldn't he's okay. Two on one against him, head to head on hard court. What about your game? Do you think matches up well with his game? Um, <clears throat> ever since juniors, I, I, I liked, I enjoyed playing lefties. Um, I feel like I kind of know what game plan I need to bring to be successful against him. But I mean, Rafa's a different beast altogether. Um, I mean, I kind of know his patterns, but everyone knows his patterns. But you can't do anything about it. You know, Federer knows his patterns. Everyone knows his patterns, but he executes them at the highest level. Um, but I'm not even thinking about the match, to be honest. <clears throat> I mean, tonight's match hasn't even sunk in. 
and I'm still dealing with a bunch of emotions. So, I mean, I, I just like playing lefties, but. You and uh, Rafa had words in the past. There was obviously the match in Alcapoco. Do you stand by what you said about Rafa? Have you ever spoken to him about it? Have you ever had a about conversation what? calling him super salty and obviously the disagreement you had in Alcapoco? Is disagreement? That... Well, the thing on Instagram saying that you can smell blood every time you play. I mean, is that all in the past? Have you ever spoken to him about that? I know you've played him since at Wimbledon. <coughs> um, yeah, I mean, the last time I played him was at Wimbledon and <clears throat> we had a, a pretty pretty good match, 7-6 in the fourth set. And at the end of the day, we're two different tennis players. We go about it completely different. And, you know, after Wimbledon, I, I, I lost. I got beaten by a better player and I shook his hand. I looked in the eye and I said, too good. So regardless, if we don't like each other, whatever, we I think there's a, a layer of respect. We both know that I mean, he's he's one of the greatest of all time, and I also read that he, he thinks I'm good for the sport. So there's a there's a layer of respect that we both have for each other. That doesn't necessarily mean we like each other, but we're just going to put on, we're going to go out there and give, you know, contrasting styles and personalities. Both these, this match and the last one, you, you said that you were almost mentally losing it, but you... You kept it together. How did you? How did you? How did you do it tonight? Mm -hmm. I just laid it all out in the line tonight. Um, you know, match point in the third, frustrated, didn't get it. Match point in the fourth, didn't get it, fuming. I don't know. Just took it one game at a time. In the fifth, my body started hurting, and then I don't know. My team, you know, they don't do, they don't get enough credit really. <clears throat> And the hand issue, you managed to also pull yourself back from that situation as well. Obviously, you got it out of your system, and it, it seemed like you know you were clearly in the right with it, but you also really? managed to pull yourself back. Um, no, my hand was squirting blood, so um, I'm not really too sure why I got a time violation. Um, I just made sure that the ball kid wasn't touching my towel with blood on it, and then the umpire just had no idea what was going on, apparently. But my, my hand's usually brown, and it was covered in blood, so... Something wrong there. What do you what did you take from that match in terms of I don't know if you take confidence from a loss, is that close against a guy as good as him or, or what going into the next one? Yeah, for sure. I mean <clears throat> every time you put up a battle like that against Rafa, you're gonna take confidence from it. Um, yeah, you said two tough tie breaks. I mean there's nothing in that match really, you know, he, he changed up his game plan a little bit. Um, Probably, I'll probably expect him to serve a little bit more to my forehand when I play him in a couple of days. That's what he did in Wimbledon. He had some pretty good success there, but I thought he played really well at Wimbledon. Um, I came out a little slow, but the grass just seemed so slow. Um, I couldn't really break him down, but um, I forgot the question. But um, yeah, I, I feel good. Like I feel like my game is ready to go.